This is a multiple choice question about interest rates. It says the government decides to lower the interest rate, the rate of interest, so the rate of interest is going to be going down. Which one of the following groups is most likely? They've put that in bold because there could be multiple answers, but it's the one that's most likely to be made worse off by this decision. I would underline this or highlight it in the exam so you don't get thrown off when you look at the answers. Really, you need to try and think about what you think the answer is a little bit before you look at the answers so you're not confused by that. Remember, the rate of interest, rate of interest, there are always three things to consider. One is the fact that people who save because they earn interest on their savings. The next is people who borrow because they must pay interest on their loan. And the next is people or firms that have existing loans. Because if you have an existing loan and you have a variable rate of interest, if the base rate goes up, you're going to have to pay more interest every month. If the base rate goes down, you'll have to pay less interest every month. So three things to consider, rate of interest. So we've said that the rate of interest here is going down and we want to know who's going to be made worse off, who's it going to be bad for. Borrowers, no. They won't be made worse off. This will be good for them because if you've borrowed money and you have a loan and you're paying interest and it's a variable rate of interest, the amount of interest you're having to pay is going to go down. So that's not right. They're going to be better off. Large firms. Now, here we've got large firms who've got small firms. It's true that they might be made worse off by the lower rate of interest if they've saved some of their profits in the bank. So it's a possibility that it's one of these two. However, how would you pick between large firms and small firms? Because both of them might have money sitting in the bank. This one, savers, is the right answer. This is because if you're a saver and you've put your money in the bank, you're expecting to earn interest on it. If the bank account has a variable rate of interest, that means it's changeable. If the base rate, the bank rate set by the Bank of England in the UK, if the base rate of interest goes down, then the amount of interest that you're going to earn on your savings is going to go down if you have a variable rate on your savings account. And therefore, savers will be worse off. So the answer is C.